So that wide barrier now is not a disadvantage, and that's where my roughie is as well in uh, Rosita. She can be enigmatic. She can be hard to catch. She's lost the confidence of many, but at around 50 to 1, she's worth throwing in your first four. She hasn't lost your support, though, and that's all that matters. It's, I'm teetering on saying goodbye to her. Are you? Yes. I hate those she's farewells. Oh, OK. All righty then. So we edge closer towards the dark jewel. This is a great contest for the Phillies and the Mares over the 1,400 metres at Group 3 level. One of the highlights of the Scone program today, along with the Luskin Star Stakes, the listed event next over the 1,300 metres. Shadows of love for Kim Waugh. We'll start our favourite, but only just. You can see how tight the market is at the top there. Uh, punters finding this very tricky to pick a clear-cut favourite. Nearly already set. Here we go for the Dark Jewel. 16 for the Coolmore Dark Jewel Classic Group 3. And Electrica now is the last to move in. Just about ready to go now. Shadows of Love favourite and a more open market for this race. And the light is on. And we're good to go. Stand by for a break. Gates are back and Boot Scooter anticipated the start well, but there's plenty going forward. Shadows of Love, Banana Queen, Miraview sent forward and now Short Shorts is getting into stride and Short Shorts puts the head in front. Wolves on the inside of Miraview and the favourite Shadows of Love goes to a clear fourth. Banana Queen eases back. Ruthless Dames cast wide early. Then came Gennady getting up on the inside. Further back to fall for Cindy. Boot Scooter gets back now from Miss Fabergé. Then came over riding for Curry. Curry, Rosita out three wide. And the last two, Electrica, together with Papali. So the leader dashes away. Short shorts as it loves to do. Short shorts out by three lengths to Wolves and Miraview third the outer. Two further back to Russian Conquest on the inside of Shadows of Lover. Then came Gennady, Ruthless Dame, three wide the trip on the outside of Banana Queen. They're followed after a length to overriding Miss Fabergé, fall for Cindy, back on the inside as they straighten up. And Short Short shall lead by two or three lengths here. Two Wolves and Miraview, then Shadows of Lover. Russian Conquest, Gennady back on the inside from four for Cindy and then Ruthless Dame. Short Short, 200 metres to go. A two length leader, but now Shadows of Love close. Closing in, Banana Queen closing in, and Fall for Cindy getting up on the inside. Fall for Cindy up on the inside, takes a narrow lead late. Fall for Cindy wins by a decisive margin today. Won the dark duel by a length to Banana Queen and Shadows of Love third. Followed by overriding boot scooter Pokari Kari, then short short from Miraview, Russian Conquest, Miss Fabergé, Wolves, Rush, a Ruthless Dame, Papali, Rosita, Electrica. Boy, Gennady stopped quickly, finished last. Great ride there by Zach Lloyd because he saved ground on the inside. He's stuck to the fence. They've been veering off that and coming down the middle of the track. But because there hasn't been all too much racing there over the last seven or so races, it's probably pretty good going. Greatly uh, judged there by Zach Lloyd. And she makes it two on the bounce, of course, having uh, equal well, dead heated in the last start that she went around in only two weeks ago. But John O'Shea gets a really nice priced winner for Cindy. And Banana Queen will be second and Shadows of Love will be third as they continue their very, very consistent uh, campaigns. And there's a few horses there, a few mares that they'll be thinking about uh, their next phase of their life, you can imagine. Gignardi was really disappointing the way it 